is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colony's more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the Colony War ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. You can certainly try. But the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. Captain, your files indicate a track record of unlikely successes. It is my genuine hope that, perhaps down the line, you might become a part of our team. And this might be something of a tryout. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Is no one I would rather see right now. You lead. I will follow. You need something, dearest? I will be thinking about you. Captain, 
Did your, uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Surprised me too when I learned it, but the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years and kept far from any major decision making. But I do think it's worth re emphasizing. No one else can know about this. All right? The Major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information. And she certainly doesn't need a distraction from her current very important work. Which is why I need you to keep this to yourself. No. They really shouldn't. And bringing up what you've learned outside this building will make you, Captain, look like a crazy person. I don't want that. And you certainly don't want that. So you need to keep this to yourself. Now, was there something in particular? Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question, but bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Allowing you to kill someone on behalf of the prisoner? Absolutely not. But taking the chance to bring a known criminal to justice? Well, the old man's been right more than a few times in the past. So, what's being put on the table here? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf, the second star station actually to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain, and remind you of the importance of discretion. Now that we are here, what will be our next course of action?
I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for UC military commanders. Based on what I see, I find that very hard to believe. May I be? If there's anything I can do for you, please say the word. You won't find a better. Luca's back. You got something quick? Kind of busy at the moment. Orlais doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Suit yourself. Well, I can tell you there's no one on the den by that name. But. There has been a rumor about a ship floating out around Etheria. Never docks, doesn't respond to hails. They call it the Warlock. Maybe this Orlace of yours is the one piloting it. I can give you the coordinates to its last sighted location if you want. Just, well, you'll need to be careful. That part of Etheria sky is an old debris field. Plenty dangerous. More than a few scrappers heading out never came back. Well, the original Den Star Station was destroyed decades ago during the Serpent's Crusade by marauding House Varun Zealots. Big part of the remains from those battles ended up gathering around Etheria, forming a nasty debris field. Every now and then, some headstrong scrapper comes limping back because they hit an 80-year-old mine. Or sometimes they don't come back at all. I honestly thought it was just a story board haulers told each other to keep themselves amused. Pretty surprised to find out he has a name. Like, finding out the Grim Reaper's named Mitch or something. <laughs> huh. Makes you wonder, though. Ships have been disappearing in those fields for years. Going theory on why was a combination of old ordnance and Etheria's gravity disappearing them. But maybe someone's been helping them over the ledge. Things you should know? The den's not really that kind of place. This is a quiet assignment. Keep an eye out for pirates, make sure smuggling's kept to a minimum, occasional rescue job out in the debris fields. Otherwise, it's mostly long haulers and staying ready for the day the Collective wants another round, or House Varun comes back in force. Sure thing. Here. This should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. Just don't cause any problems, okay? It's been a slow day. Want to keep it that way.
awaiting your orders, Captain. It is too hot. And do not even think about saying something like, it is just you.
I have never quite been able to think of New Atlantis as home. Though I suppose I should. <laughs> 